welcome everyone. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm speechless because it's so wonderful to see all of you um, coming to church, having the confidence that, you know, we are COVID secure. And although I will say it again later, a massive thank you to Peter and all of you who have been cleaning and preparing the church for today. That is um, a tremendous effort from everyone and it's so good to see you. Let us lift up our hearts today on this Mothering Sunday. It's uh, also the fourth Sunday of Lent, right in the middle of it, but we are, we're going to be lifted up today in this family service to those who are joining us live online on Facebook this morning. And if you're following at any time afterwards because we'll upload it on YouTube, you're always welcome. And we hope that more and more our congregation, our parishioners would venture out as things improve. And of course you must not stop praying for the time when we're not constrained and able to come and gather and worship freely and lift up our hearts and our voices. We will have two hymns today, but only three people are permitted to sing at this time. And I'm not going to be on my own singing, please. So I'm going to ask Jeff and Sue, because they are the nearest to the microphone in front, that they can sing as well. But if all of you can do a good hum, the words are on your service sheet. Right, I think that we can all begin. And uh, if you follow your orders of service, your service sheets, I'm going to begin with that prayer right in front. Lord, we remember all those who have cared for us and helped us in many ways as we grew up. Thank you for grandmothers and grandfathers, aunts and uncles, mothers and fathers, teachers and nurses. Help us to show that we are grateful for what they do for us. We want to celebrate all they do to make our lives happy, healthy, and safe. We want them to know that just as they care for us, so God loves and cares for them and us too. We're not all mothers ourselves, but we all have a mother, whether or not, they are still with us, and we are all children of God. No earthly family is perfect, but in God we have a heavenly Father who loves us and always welcomes us with open us. Amen. Now we're going to do you the hum and we the singing. Let all the world in every corner sing. Now you know something, even though you're humming, you can still stand. So let's all stand for that. Oh, well Jeff, I'm going to do that. I'm going to turn this round and then you guys can be picked up as well. So Joshua. Oh, 
is taken from Luke chapter 2, verses 41 to 40, 51. Now every year his parents went to Jerusalem for the festival of the Passover. And when he was 12 years old, they went up as usual for the festival. When the festival was ended and they started to return, the boy Jesus stayed behind in Jerusalem, but his parents did not know this. Assuming that he was in the group of travellers, they went a day's journey. Then they started to look for him among their relatives and friends. When they did not find him, they returned to Jerusalem to search for him. After three days, they found him in the temple, sitting among the teachers, listening to them and asking them questions. And all who heard him were amazed at his understanding and his answers. When his parents saw him, they were astonished. And his mother said to him, Child, why have you treated us like this? Look, your father and I have been searching for you in great anxiety. He said to them, Why were you searching for me? Did you not know that I must be in my father's house? But they did not understand what he said to them. Then he went down with them and came to Nazareth and was obedient to them. His mother treasured all these things in her heart. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you, Jill. Now I'm very pleased that Emma um, is going to do our uh, message today. She's going to give us our message and as a presentation from the school to accompany this. Now before um, she comes forward, I'm going to have to turn on the speaker. So here we go. Thanks. So in school this week, we have been thinking about our mums. We read the story of the boy of the temple and we discussed who the boy was, who his mum was, how his mum must have been feeling when she didn't know where he was. We discussed why Jesus called it his father's house, what that meant, and we thought about how his mum treasured all things in her heart and what that meant. And one of the children thought that it must mean that their mum loves it above all, above all else that they treasure something. And one child said, I really think that, that your children are the world to you. And to my mum, that children are the world to them. And I'm going to share some of the discussions that we've had, where they've thought about how their mums have helped them become more independent, how they've helped them grow, and how they've helped them progress. How we're doing this. Um, perhaps Christine and Sue will be able to help us out. Now, ladies, we've got plenty of flowers, so if you'd like to take two, maybe you'd like to give one little bouquet to a friend or what have you. Anybody you think needs some flowers at this moment. So if you take two, so and I will have to come up and down the aisle. We can't let the children uh, give you them this time. Okay? Thank you, Christine and Sue. We've got these amazing, I don't know how they manage it. They look so fresh. Are they all daffodils? They are, they're certainly all yellow. <laughs> We're not going to let the adversity of our situation stop us from bringing cheer and showing appreciation and thanks. I think this is a little bit actually better than Ladies Day at Ascot. <laughs> and 
over there, Amy's just given uh, her mum, Sarah, a big hug of appreciation. Well done, Amy. Well done. I think, um, Christine, there's Rosalind over the other aisle. Yeah, thank you. I know what Sue does. She doesn't forget. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. It's lovely. wonderful um, that this is taking a while because it shows how many of us are present and so that's great. Well done. We're going to affirm our faith. So if you would stand. I'm just waiting for Christine and think she's got one more bunch of flowers. There we go. Lovely. Thank you so much. So we're going to affirm our faith um, according to our sheets here. We believe in God the Father, from whom every family is made. We believe in God the Son, who lives in our hearts through faith and fills us with his love. We believe in God the Holy Spirit, who strengthens us with power from on high. We believe in one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Now you're going to remain standing because I think Joshua's going to come around the front. Thank you, Joshua. And you're going to hum loudly this very familiar, happy hymn that he's got the whole world in his hands. And Jeff and Sue are going to help me belt this out as well. Can we clap? We can clap. So those who fancy clapping, well, you're not going to get away from not singing as well. You've got to sing and clap. All right, Jeff and Sue. But everybody else can hum and clap. And I'm not sure, you know, what the clapping scheme is, but you know something? Just clap. It doesn't matter what the scheme is. All right. Whenever you're ready, just go for it. <laughs> not forget that you were a child and Mary was your mother. 
She taught you how to love, share, pray, and care for others. Loving God, hear, hear our prayer. prayer. We thank you, God, for our church family, where we can care for each other as brothers and sisters in Christ. We pray that all may find in the church a loving home, and that all may be welcomed. Loving God, hear, hear our prayer. prayer. We thank you for those who have been as mothers to us, grandmothers, aunties and teachers, for those who have nurtured, taught, encouraged and shaped us with love. Loving God, hear, hear our prayer. prayer. And Lord, we thank you that you are our Heavenly Father who loves us, cares for us and watches over us. Loving God, hear, hear our prayer. prayer. And especially today, we pray for the gift of mothers. Thank you, God, for the love of our mothers, for their care and concern, for the joys they have shared with us, for the pains they have borne for us, and for all that they give us, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. And we say together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. The blind is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Thank you, Christine. We're going to share the peace now. So will you stand? Through the prophet Isaiah, God says, as a mother comforts her child, so I will comfort you. May the peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Will you wave to one another and share God's peace? And online, peace be with you as well. Joshua, peace be with you. Will you, will you sit now? Because I've got uh, a few notices and thank yous as well. The first of all, um, massive thank yous, as I said before, with regards to the preparation of the church. But I'd like to really um, say thank you with some little gifts. First of all, thank you to Jeff and Sue, who have actually prepared the service today in quite challenging circumstances. So Jeff and Sue, well, maybe Sue, you can come up, because it's Mother's Day, isn't it? You can come and just take that little gift. A round of applause, please. <laughs> I'm also going to say a huge thank you to um, Peter and Christine. Peter does the rota and organizes a, a, a lot of stuff for, for us. And then Christine has done all the flowers in preparation for today. Christine, can you come up again? Because I've got a little something here for you as well. A round of applause. And thank you. And, it, you know, it's certainly in my time, it's the first time that Emma has given us, you know, our message today and, um, and brought the school into our service as well. So Emma, would you come up and as a token of my appreciation, that's a little something for you too. <laughs> of course, I want to say thank you to Joshua who is now a full uh, member of our music uh, team. Thank you, Joshua. And um, not to forget um, Peter, who is doing all our recordings and today live streaming for us. 
we're going to have to bear with us. There's so many things to, to share because of the first service back. Um, Joshua, could you hop around to the front here, please? And just sit, stand behind this table, but visible to everyone, just back here. And Sari, could you come forward? And perhaps, you know, just, just stand in front. I'll, I'll try and be away from you. There you go, just stand there. These two young people, Sarah and Joshua, have won amazingly, well done amazingly well, they've won in the National Rotary Music Competition. And Sarah has come second on the piano, Joshua has come first, first prize nationally on the harp, and been highly commended on the organ. A round of applause for that. Well done, Thank you. Thank you. And of course, you know, that can't happen without all the support from Felicity, their mum, and Chris, dad. Now, sort of a sad and yet hopefully happy for her, Jennifer Wright. Jennifer, will you come forward? She has been attached to us on placement, and I'm going to stand aside, and if you could stand there, Jennifer. Um, she's been on placement with us as our organ and training, and later this year, Jennifer is going to be ordained, and I believe you're going to serve in the Diocese of Litchfield, is that right? And, you know, so we're just so thankful that we have had the privilege of um, her sharing, her preparation um, with us. And we're going to pray for Jennifer now. So let us pray. Lord and Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for your call on Jennifer's life, that you've called her to serve you as an ordained person. And so we pray for the rest of her preparation and our ongoing journey that she remains close to you so that she will always hear your voice and be directed and guided to bless all those she serves in your name. And we ask and pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. There's a little card from us and the whole church family for you, wishing you well. Around the okay. We're going to conclude very soon. Um, just to say that next Sunday we're back here. Yay! We're going to be back in here and it is going to be a communion service. Um, we hope that all of you would like to come back in again. Um, and just to mention in advance, that we're having a special pilgrimage service with uh, the bishops coming to lead the service. And I think for the first time we're doing it at the back of the church, outside, in the churchyard, because the whole diocese are coming here to inaugurate the Pilgrimage Northern Saints Trails. And it will be such a joy to have everyone here. Of course, we're going to be safe, socially distanced, mask up if you'd like to, and, you know, um, we're just going to welcome the rest of the diocese here. The last thing to say is on Wednesday, we're reopening at 12 noon for private prayer. And thank you, Jill, for preparing our candles ready for that as well. Okay. So we're going to close the service with the blessing. Let us go from here rejoicing that God loves us and welcomes us with open arms. As the children of God, we take his love into the world that others will also rejoice and be part of his family. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you everyone for coming today. Go safely out, keep your social distance, and have an amazing week filled with God's love. Thank you.